Hey guys, and welcome to a very different special video. It's something that I, after I went to the Creator of Diamonds and we did our little diamond hunt, I was curious about. But today, me and Little Man are going to review, I don't know if you all have ever seen it, but you can actually buy pay dirt from these gold mining companies and they guarantee that they have gold in it. So what we've done. Is we got three bags of the same well, thing. Actually four. Four. Right, I'm gonna switch to this camera real quick so I can see a little bit better. All right, so we have, I'll have a link to every one of these people down in the description, but you got this rich gold pay dirt. Um, this one's actually the same company, but they sell it as a different company. Uh, the Golden Badger. Now you can see they're not real big bags. And also what I ordered was these kits, which I can tell you the kits were really nice. It comes with the bottle, it comes with the tweezers, it's with the pan right there, and it also came with the gold sluice things, whatever they're called. And I'll leave a link to that one. Also come with this uh, the thing the Bray has in his thing. hand. So, that separates, go ahead. So the bag has um, the magnetic rocks and it separates the all the things so it's kind of more helpful to, um, yeah. And I bought this and filled it up with water and I'll show you all real quick. See, there is no coin pusher in here. <laughs> this is a, a gym slash storage. So for all those that had the question, there's my garage. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to, one of these kits came with, this kit came with some sample pay dirt. Uh, so I'm going to try that one first, but it, it comes with the, comes with the bottles. Um, th this kit was really nice. Uh -huh. It has everything. So I have to put the gold in there. Um, and I've, I sent them a message and they got right back to me. So excellent customer service. So I saw this, um, a video about these ones and these are so like is what you think is gold or whatever you put squeeze this and then you get your little pan and then you suck it up and it you have all the and then the, all the little gold comes at the bottom and then when you're ready to take it out you just put it where you want to put it and then put, squeeze it out and then you can look at it later to see if it's gold or not and i watched some videos about this um finding gold and they had the same as that kitchen um it was kind of different because they had um a little like it's like a little bit bigger but this is really cool how it came with this yeah that, it, i tell you it was a great deal i think it was like 25 bucks the most expensive bag that i bought was 30 so it's not real but i mean you're getting this is the biggest bag you're not getting much but if there's gold in it it's worth it so i know you got to fill this up so i'm gonna go ahead and get that started before we and also another reason why i, I used uh i went out and bought one of these just in case because we're new and there's a pretty good probability that we're going to lose gold it'll go in here so first thing i'm gonna start off with this one i'll start off with this green one and then i'm gonna show bray what i learned which there's a there's a lot of different resources on the computer that you can learn but we're going to practice what i've learned use this as a sample bag and then we'll go from there all right guys so we're getting ready to start this is the sample dirt that came with actually this kit so bray's going to dump that dirt look we got a little recording studio set up yep. <laughs> outside sorry if you hear um some of the cars were outside and the um interstate's right over there all right so Bray's got that dumped in there, and there's two different sections here. This one right here is for a little bit more detail, and this one's, uh, they're both catches. So when I go in here and I start putting water to it in the bucket, you, I'm going to use this one since I'm new. Use that as a catch, but basically, I'll go ahead and click over here, but I'll show you what I've learned. Now, I'm not saying much, but. All right, Bray, so what you do is you take it, get a little bit of water in here, and you go like this, right? Now, uh... See how this has got all these catches? Yeah. You want to just slightly, you don't want to dump it, but you just want to do slightly where it gets rid of the dirt. Yeah. And you go like this. Because gold is heavy and you can exactly. get stuck in there. Then you move it back and forth like this, and then you go like this. You just don't want to put it too much of an angle because you want to keep the heavies in there. Go back and forth, up and down, make the heavies go farther up. Now guys, trust me, there's easier ways to do this. Let me get this, this is a little bit closer, but you wanna go down in a little bit, go like this, go back and forth, let the loose dirt come out. Gold's heavy, so it'll get caught before anything. 
side to side, back and forth, shake it, back down in there. It's hard to do with one hand. I want you to get a better idea. Let's see how I'm, I'm not putting it down in there far. Yeah. All right, then I go back and forth. All right, so let's... I don't see anything yet. So you want to go ahead and do that a little bit. And what we'll do is we're going to do each bag individually. That way you will know if we who we had the best luck with. There you go. Good, good job. Yep. Oh, not so. There we go. You're doing good. Braves getting this washed out. I'm trying to get the gold to get stuck in here. Remove everything else. He's focused. Try to come back and get some water in there. Side to side. These guys have been doing this for a while. They uh, they definitely got it down to a little bit better art form than what we're doing. Oop, I think I see some gold in there. Oh, I definitely see a little crystal in there. Um, I do see some shiny. So. All right, so we're gonna keep going. Doing now, uh, you see the excess dirt goes down in there. Mine thing is little crystals. Oh, little crystals, that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna check on my hand. And if we have time today, we are going to uh, pull some of the dirt that we haven't went through from the crater of diamonds, too. Yep, we had they had um, a whole bunch of little crystals that we found. Professionals at this, this is our first time trying, yeah, and that's what I thought would be neat. Because you all can see somebody has no idea what they're doing. <laughs> and, you know, that way you can see maybe the mistakes that we make for future reference. And then we can check that and see if there's anything in there that um, we're not just going to dump it. And if you accidentally do it too hard or some of the gold might come out. And some of it might just um, be sticking to the other rocks and... Um, go on one of the little rocks. Hand me that magnet. I'm going to go ahead and try this magnet because it'll get gold. A magnet won't work on it. So you put it in here. That's picking up some of that black sand. Oh, let me see. That's really neat. All right, go ahead and swish around in there real quick. And then where do you want me to put this And on? then just put it off to the side and just release it. And then, then you take this and then you release it and that gets rid of uh, you just the have black to, sand. There's a little handle right there and then you squeeze it. It comes off and I'm gonna... Now I'm gonna take it, get a little wet, and see if I can see anything. And then come out? Yeah, a lot of stuff. Yeah. All right. Oh. All right, so this is what we got. All and right. that's all the black sand that was in there. So as you can see, there's a lot of black sand in there. All right. Oh, that's the gold. You do? Right there. Is that what that is? Mm-hmm. We found some Sweet. gold. All right, guys. I'm gonna go through here and pull out the gold. I see our first flake. Look, I found a lot. Look. Did you? There's a lot of little flakes over there. Look. Awesome. There, yeah. There we go. All right. So you can use this too, Bray. Okay, I'm gonna use that. Let's try. Uh, you got like this? We found a whole bunch of little gold here. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that one guy. Yeah. Oh, there's a big one right there. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh. I think I... Oh. oh. Did, did all, some of the gold come out? There we go. Now it's getting out there. Oh, there's some right there. There's a bunch of little flakes. Yeah. I hope I see one right there. Where? And then what I'll do is I'll take this stuff that's at the bottom of this and we'll go through it one more time with a little bit more detail. So that's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm gonna put a link to this company. All this was included and actually had gold in it for like 20 bucks. So that would be a good start, starting point. And if you're, you could buy a whole bunch of those bags, you could have a whole bunch of gold. Now I'm looking in there. I see a big gold piece. Where? Right there, oh, see. that's big! All right, guys. So there we go. As you can see, there's gold right there. We just got to go through the rest of it and get it out. But it's cool little gold pieces. So you can't really tell, but this is what we got from the the. This was just a sample. 
it didn't even say anything about guaranteed to have gold in it which is not much obviously but it's still fun it, it lets you see how meticulous it is so that's pretty cool so we're going to uh, keep on going and see what we can find next but got a little bit of gold to start so this is uh, one of the two from goldpaydirt.com um, says enjoy your gold pay dirt as a thank you we love get up to two free bags with the golden surprise so that's pretty neat so we're gonna this is one of the smaller ones but we're gonna go through here and uh, we're gonna see what we can how find much, how much gold's in there we're well, gonna use a black one this time I think it's a little bit easier to see have Bray put this whole bag in there because there's not a lot there's, there's a bit. Yep. we're gonna pour this in here I want that gold now this one's supposed to be guaranteed to have gold in it, so I want to be a little bit more meticulous. The only problem is, is the one that's on the other one is so fine it was really hard to handle. But all right, so. Gonna get all the gold at one place. So this is what was for the uh, first actual bag of stuff that we bought from Gold Pay Dirt. So we're gonna go in here. See that I left that down there just just in case. But I'm gonna use this side this time. Go around. Back and forth, side to side. Same thing you do with uh, side, back and forth. I think I already see a piece of gold right up there. Um, let me know when you're ready to do the magnet. I'll get it out. Oh, buddy. Yeah, that magnet really helps. I wish we had two of them so we could do like yeah. Be cool if there's a big nugget in here. Yeah, I'm lucky. And like I said, we're leaving we're putting everything into the uh in this so we can go through it one more time. Yeah. Imagine how much gold they find. Cause that's only like a little bags for for like samples. Imagine how that much that mine ha gets. How much? Yeah. Like it's not like very you meticulous. To, um, there's two different ways that you um do it. Like when we or at the mining thing, you'd um get the um thing and go like this, and then now you get the bucket and you go back and forth. It's cool how oh there's a lot of flakes. Yeah, there. I'm starting to see the gold now, guys. So there? there's a little bit right over there, well a lot over there, and then there's a lot over there. So this is off the first actual bag, but you can see it does produce gold. So that's awesome. So we're going to continue on and try to sift through this. Very meticulous work, but hey, anything gets you outside with your family, all about. Yeah, like I said, that's the thing, same thing we did to create our diamonds, uh, which if we have a second, I'll, I'll pan through one of them see if we can find a diamond together. And we can also find, like, we find all these little crystals that we found. And The day we went to create our diamonds, it was super hot. And not only that, it was, um, we had um, to big, dig all those big holes to get down where the, like, we had um, to get to a certain spot where it was, like, kind of like a clay substance, and that's where most of the diamonds were found, so... We had to dig down there, and not only was it hard to dig, but when we got back, that clay substance is all hard and thick, and it's like almost like if you push it together, it's almost like Play-Doh or clay. So hard, because you had to get the, um, here, I'll show you. It was like this, and if you see, you see all those little holes, and all the rocks um, would go down there, and you'd have to get this, um, go like that, and then all the rocks that you found, you'd um, flip it over and knock all the rocks down. And the clay, you had to get your hand and rub and rub and rub because all the clay was like just like sticking together. And once it hardened up, it was just like a ball of clay. And there's all those rocks in there. And that's where most of the crystals and diamonds are. So you have to, where it's not just some easy digging in the dirt and finding a diamond. You have to dig. So this is uh, the first actual one. Be our second, as you can see. There's um, no big uh, clunks in there, but hey, I mean, every bit adds up. I think it cost me like 20 bucks, so it's not real expensive. 
but we're going to go ahead and clean this out and get it in jars so you can get a little bit better look at it. Oh, that's a nice one. We're doing good. All right, guys, we just got through uh, the second one. I'll show There's still a little bit of gold in here, but I'm just going to. Uh, yeah, I'll show a little close up on the other camera. It's a decent amount. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but so we're going to go ahead and go through it. I'm going to switch over to the small camera because uh, this can get kind of redundant, but uh, we'll see how much we can get. Like I said, right now we got to, you know, at least you can say there's gold in there, I guess. <laughs> and uh, we'll document it from there. But all right, guys, I'll talk to you here in a second. All right, guys, so that's after the that one bag and the sample bag. So, hey, there's a little bit in there. I mean, again, it's nothing to write home about, but if you're trying to learn how to get gold, ah, Bray's. Bray's going through that right there. So what we're going to do, we're just going to document on this camera for a little bit. So that's what we got so far. So it's fun. I mean, there's actually gold in it for 20 bucks. I mean, uh, hey, I why not? This one out I don't know yeah, go ahead, buddy. We're going to dump it all into here. Oh, yeah, and then that way, later on, we can go back through everything we just did. I think I found some gold in there, but I think I'm going to dump it out. because. All right, guys. So this is what's next. Uh, this is from Gold Pay Dirt. This is called Clunker. And this one's called Eureka. So what do you want to do? Clunker or Eure Eureka? Eureka. <laughs> all right. So we're doing a Eureka now. I'll just show the steps and then we'll go from there. There's Clunker. All right, guys. All right, so this is the Eureka from the gold pay dirt. Let's see if I can get there. Hey, it smells good. Smell it. Yeah, it smells like gold. <laughs> How you do it? Yeah, you might want to use two hands, Bobby. That way you can have more control over it. There you go. Get it real wet like this, shake it to get all the... If you got me to go, I can hold the camera while you do it. Shake it, back and forth, and then... Hopefully we get a big piece of gold in this one. It's like diamonds, gold's heaviest. So it should theoretically stick to the bottom. If not, we're just gonna have a bunch of gold down in here that we'll go through one more time. Make sure you always have water in there. Cause if not, it would be just a whole, you're, you're just shaking a whole bunch of sand. You want to make sure that all the Look right there, bro. little. There's one gold piece. Yep. And when you do it, you just want to like take your time. Don't um, like do it a little bit and then look through and do a little bit and go through because. Um, so this was the end of the last one. Not too bad, not no big clunkers, so maybe the clunkers are going to be in the clunker bag. <laughs> but that's what we're up to. Definitely not going to retire on it, but hey. So now we have one more bag to go, right there. Alright guys, so it's now time for the clunker. I like the black one, it seems like it makes the gold stand out a little better. Empty it out. I think I might do this a little bit. It always helps. Oh, there's a little bit in there. That picks it right up. As you can see. Let's uh, maybe since it did stick a little bit, it seems like some of that magnetic stuff does. So what do you think? You see any gold in there, guys? I guess we're going to have to go through all the work. I don't see any big clunkers. You'd think that'd stand out. All right, guys. So let me go through this, and then we will uh, we'll continue on and then shake it back and forth like this because you want the gold to go yeah. to the bottom and then slowly sift, just slowly go like this. Not much of an angle. But it's not real hard because you don't want to, even though we're going to go through that again. I'm going to do it with one hand because I don't know, it's kind of easier for me. Okay, that's fine. Here's our <laughs> remnants. 
Oh, there's some, uh, some gold right there. Is there? Well, that's good that we're already seeing it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this done. You can start to see the little bit of gold flakes here. I don't see any big clonkers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yep. See a little flake? Here in a second, I might pull this up and... Alright guys, there we go. Uh, three bags. Four bags, actually, technically. And that's what we got. I don't even know how much you could even weigh that. Let's see what it is. But, if you're looking to get rich from it, it's not going to happen. But if you're looking to have something to do, to, uh, you know, fun with your family now that we're, you know, stuck indoors, give it a shot. I mean, look, that's pretty neat. It's a nice little thing just to put back and say you did with your family. We're going to empty this out right here and uh, see if we find any more. Then we're going to actually go look for some diamonds after this. So, there we go. That's so much better. Oh, I found a big, some big pieces. Did you? All right, so Bray still found some more pieces. We'll put it in here. All right, guys, so I just dumped it. And as you can see, there's a lot of dirt in there. So we're going to go through this. We're going to go through this one more time. Just to make sure, you know, with flukes being so small, it's very probable that you lose some. So we'll just double check that and we'll start back again. Well, hopefully that was, uh, if you ever wondered, like I have, if uh, you can actually get anything from that. Hopefully that answers some of y'all's questions. Uh, it's, you know, I'll, I'll actually try to weigh it, um, see how much is actually in there, but it was it was enough to make it worth a while, honestly. As much as you got, I know you can't see it too good, but it's a good amount. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna clean out one bucket from the Crater of Diamonds that we, uh, we got, um, we're losing light, so unfortunately that's going to be a pain, but thank y'all so much. I hope you enjoyed today's video, something different. Um, if you ever had a question about it, hopefully this answers some questions. And uh, you know, like I said, it's worth to me 20, 25 bucks. Uh, obviously you got to get the, the sifter and things like that, but it's fun. It's a fun thing to do with family at home. Have gold straight at your house no matter where you're at. <laughs> and yeah, I guess you never know. I mean, uh, every bag's different, so maybe one does have that big clunker in it. But uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to start going through the Crater Diamond stuff and see if we can maybe find a diamond. All right, so this one's a little different. So I got this bucket right here. It had these little buckets that may kind of look like this. And uh, this one is cool because it has this and then you put the, there's three of these and you can somewhat call them filters. And it has the first one. The second one and the third one and what this one's for is all the small little rocks there's it goes big medium and then little so uh if there's um any small rocks or diamonds they will get caught in there and um put them in there and you shake it around and then when you're done you take all the filters out and you dump all the rocks that are in the filters and then you um redo it so, um, Dad has the big one, and then um, when Dad's done that, I'll get some. Um, did you get out of the red or the blue? Uh, blue. You can bring the red one over here. I think the. All right. So, we got two screens, which this one broke, unfortunately, just now. So that's not good. I might switch to the other one. This out. I'm gonna get some. You see some of the rocks are coming out, but these are like this. They have crystals. Um, and you wanna look for that type of stuff instead of. Um, There's actually a technique you use, but. It's not going to work right now because the screen broke. Found the crystal. You good? Um, where do you want to put this? You can find a place to put this. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go through this. If we find anything, I'll definitely let you know. But make a day of treasure hunting. 
diamonds, gold. <laughs> so we're gonna look through it. Like I said, the screen, you can see it's, it's broke, so I'm gonna have to switch over to the other screen. But I uh, just, hey, out here, spend time with little man. Really enjoy it. All right, guys, talk to you soon.